We are exactly two and a half weeks away from US Olympic trials, right up that road in Indianapolis. I am a happy man because I am on taper. In this video, I will show you my entire four week taper breakdown plan. Here we go. Before we get started, for all of you who have been asking about summer merch, Olympic trials, my new merch, I'm very excited about it. It will be available on Friday and it is limited edition. There's a very small amount of supply. So if you wanna guarantee that you can get yourself some Cody Miller merch for US Olympic trials, for the Paris Olympics this summer, all that stuff, head to CodyMillerSwim.com, scroll down to the very bottom and sign up with your email. That way you get emailed the moment the stuff becomes live so that you can purchase it right away. Once again, if you wanna guarantee that you can get it. I'm super thrilled with the designs that we came up with. It's very retro USA Olympics, it's cool. Now on to the taper plan. I already did a video about this a few weeks back, but this is precisely the plan. We are midway through taper. So I've been tapering for two weeks. I've got another two and a half weeks of taper. That's over a full month of taper for those of you who are paying attention for old guys like me, people in their 30s. This is the exact breakdown. Today is Tuesday, May 28th. At the time I'm filming this video, you are probably watching this on Wednesday, the 29th, which means while you're watching this, as you can see on Wednesdays, I have listed as skills for 2000 yards. That can be a range of things. When you're watching this, I'm probably doing a broken 200 breaststroke, yards suited. The, the workout is probably actually about 3,000 yards. The one thing that I wasn't super specific about in the previous taper breakdown video that I made was the week leading into Olympic trials. I start racing on Saturday. I have prelims and semifinals of the 100 breaststroke. Then Sunday, I have the final of the 100 breaststroke. So at the very bottom of this breakdown, you have that week. As you can see, the day before race day is a float day. I don't do really anything hard. Maybe a couple 25s fast, but pro probably not. The day before is the day that I do my stinger. That's where, you know, I'm already shaved. I throw on my racing suit and I basically do broken efforts for the hunter breast, you know, probably like a dive 25, 25 easy, push 50. You know, that's like where I'm trying to hit what I want to achieve in the race two days later. Once again, I explained what each one of these workouts is in a video that I made about a month ago. You can go back and check that out. The only change is the Wednesday workout is it shifts, it flows. It's written as skills here, but it could be race pace stuff, maybe recover, just kind of depends on how I feel. Things are starting to go well. I'm feeling good in the pool. I'm enjoying myself, I'm having fun. And most importantly, I feel zero pressure. Zero pressure to make an Olympic team, zero pressure to do anything. I've, I've outlined my goals, you know what they are. I wanna go best time in my tuna breast. I wanna make the final in the 100 breast. Um, making the Olympic team is not even on the goal sheet. Like if that were to happen, cool, but it's, it's a long outside shot. And, um, as long as I can say that I had good races at Lucas Oil Stadium, I will feel good about that. Like, I'm genuinely excited to go to the pool. Like I'm looking forward to going to the pool this afternoon. Like I said, today's Tuesday. So we're doing red. I'm going to do 1500 of red. That's threshold freestyle long course 5k. And it's the, my, this is my last 5k practice that I'll do. You know, um, and right now IU swim camp is going on. And so I'll be speaking to the IU campers. I think we got like 130 campers this week. So I'm um, going to share some stories and, and, and that'll be fun. Biggest piece of advice for all you swimmers out there that are gearing up for a long course season that have your meets, you know, probably a little later on into the summer. Um, sometimes transitioning into long course can be scary. It can be daunting. You just got to enjoy it. You got to embrace the suffering and practice a little bit. Embrace the pain a little bit. Challenge yourself. It should be hard. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be fearful. That's a good thing. Nerves matter. Nerves mean that what you're about to do is important, but ultimately you got to enjoy yourself. You know, I'm 32 years old. I've been swimming most of my life. I'm about to head into my fifth Olympic trials. And the only thing that I'm thinking about is having a good time, genuinely enjoy enjoying this. Like this is the icing on the cake of my career. And I, I feel very, once again, I feel like I keep repeating myself, but I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We've been looking forward to this for a very long time. So to all you athletes out there that are looking forward to your big meet, your competitions this summer, enjoy the process. Have fun with it, because that is the most important thing. Once again, head to CodyMillerSwim.com. Merch will be available at the end of this week. Sign up on the email list to guarantee that you get it. If you would like to have a swim clinic with me, I am booking clinics and speaking events for the remainder of the year. Send me an email to CodyMillerShow at gmail.com and we will get back to you about what that stuff looks like. I'm very excited to get out there in the swim community, engage with club teams, engage with high school teams. I love doing that kind of stuff, meet and greet stuff. So 
yeah, it's going to be a fun rest of the year. Thank you all for joining me today and joining me along on this awesome swim journey. Until my next video, I will see you all later.